good day. Let's talk about gods and uh, loyalty. I wrote this down. I didn't want to forget it. So uh, I just read it to you. Sometimes I hear people say that you support Trump. And then they say, but you don't know what he did. He did something very bad. How can you support him? Uh, I don't understand this. Well, they say, how can you support Putin when he did all these bad things? It's impossible. You're a bad person supporting Putin. You see? Or they would say, uh, you will vote for the Nationalist Party in Sweden. How can you accept what they said? You know, they said this. How can you support them? Yeah, I don't understand this. As if me supporting something means that I can't be critical. I think it has to do with an idea of blind loyalty. That if you support something or someone, you're expected to be forever loyal. And I strongly believe that blind loyalty is a trap. It's not working. Independence is the answer. Yeah, you should be independent. And then you support something. That's a different thing. You support your family or friends or a group. But you don't give away your right or responsibility to be critical to them. Yeah. Support is good, but blind loyalty is what built very crazy, insane movements, like Illuminati, for instance. It's an insane thing. Or uh, Nazism, or uh, Communism. And we have Trump, and many of us are happy about Trump. We think that he's a good guy, and we are very pleased to finally see a decent US president. And we're all happy about it. Well, most of us, many of us. But then I see how some people try to make Trump into a god. They say he's super smart. That he's super strong. He's super brave. He's a superman, you see. And they wouldn't dream of ever criticizing him. And they say he can't do anything wrong. That's a big mistake. This blind loyalty is setting people up for a huge disappointment. Trump is not perfect. He's a smart guy. But he's no God. He will do mistakes. And I believe that people in general are in pretty bad shape. The society they live in exerts a tremendous pressure on them. They need aspirins. They need to get drunk. Yeah, they feel sad, upset, they have problems, yeah, and they are generally in a state of being overwhelmed. This is my observation. So they are looking for someone or something who can help them get rid of all these things that make life miserable and difficult. Someone or something that understands them. Who agrees with them and will be the hero. The thing is, these heroes are also in a pretty bad shape. They face the same pressure. They are also overwhelmed. Some of them rise above the noise and do great things. But they will also stumble and fall. It's part of living on this planet. So. Independence is the answer, if you ask me. You can support something, you can support a person or a group, but you never give away your right or responsibility to correct them. You will never find anyone who doesn't need to be corrected. Never. You will never find anyone who never makes mistakes. And uh, we look at the Democrats in the US, and many of us don't like what they are doing. But I don't expect that their opponents, the Republicans, are phenomenal. They are just slightly better. Some will say 
they are better or even much better but that's that's all they are just better you see they are better than the than the democrats and we say this we have the same thing here in sweden the socialists in sweden are awful they really are but their opponents are just slightly better and i support the swedish nationalists but they are honestly in a pretty bad shape they are i don't expect them to save sweden i really don't they're just slightly better than the socialists they don't have gods or semi-gods in their ranks they don't and for me it would be a huge mistake to be loyal to any politician or any party i'm talking now about blind loyalty independence is the thing and support people but remain independent okay that's it bye